with the Organization of the Alliance of American Football. The USFL Presence The USFL Semi-Finals At the Darrell K. Royal Memorial Stadium in Austin, Texas Between the East Division Champions, the New York Yankees and the North Division Champions, the Portland Breakers this game is brought to you by Coca-Cola, together tastes better. Taco Bell, contactless drive through Domino's Pizza, discover the world of Domino's. And American Express, don't live life without it. Well, it's critical to be prepared physically, mentally, throw at us that maybe we haven't seen before. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This is fielded at the goal line. And not a bad return here it out to the 25-yard line. Carry himself like he is the man. It's like you, assertive in our production meetings. Well, especially when we're talking, we're talking about ordering dinner. Ordering I was snacks. just going to say. That's, that's where I go. They go play action here on first down. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. And that is incomplete. Go through his routine. He's absolutely amazing catching the football. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 for the 25. Second and 10. He's got the hook up to Odell. They'll run. This is Jonathan Stewart. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 41. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. Right at the 40. Wilson turns and gives to Prosize. 
And he gets this to the 35. Good for a game. Solid gain on that play. From the 35 on second down. To Dixon. Still good. And it'll be a little shy of the time he spent with the coaching staff and players prior to the game. What about you? Absolutely. Not only that, but the big article in the paper this morning about their philosophy. On starting games like your shot out of a cannon. And that's what they've done. Very methodical here on this first draw. Yeah, so many teams talk to this opening draw. Oh, he's slinging it. And oftentimes when you talk about slinging it, you're thinking about a guy throwing it all over the yard, not necessarily accurately. In this case, though, he's honing in on his targets and he's delivering. Yeah, the open. <laughs> they go back to the ground now with Penny. And he's going to be brought down. Jim got five. Here's second and five. Double Double Wilson going to hand it to Prince. And bulldozing through multiple tackles. A gain of five. Good enough. Coach, take him out of the game. He's going to want the ball again. So he actually does get into the end zone. Hopefully that is next carry. Penny will try to punch it in. And he will take this one in for the... Sean Penny taking it in. And they are able to strike first here on their opening drive. Punt, and then you go down and score. And you've got to see a fist pump on the sideline from the head coach, don't you? Because he's turned into his bench, and he's telling his team, this is how we prepare. Extra point splits the uprights, and that makes the score 7-0. unit is out on the field and they will send this one away this is fielded a couple yards deep and he'll get it up to about the 26 yard line just across the yards on first down and make it a second and three second and manageable keep accumulating first downs that way keep moving the football don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage throwing on first down but once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. The second to one, seven nothing. On EA Sports. They're staring up at a. They'll set up a throw. He's got to take care of the football. My fourth coming. And it's good to make it 14 nothing. Bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. Let's field it a few yards into the end zone. Probably not very deep into their script. I think they just came with it. I think they abandoned it just yet and try to generate some offense on this track. And he's going to at least three points, get that zero off the board. Play from the 32 yard line here, second and three. Second and three. And we're going to get the right side here with the echo. So from the 36 now, first and 10. This out to Saquon Barkley. And this winds up a gain of four. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for offense. Third down be 
becomes a lot less manageable. Third and seven after the false start. the answer to this. Either convert them or don't get third down in the first place. Get your big chief yard the first and second down. This is his first play, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. And he didn't quite have the back spin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. This is the NFL. How many times have we watched 14 and nothing leads evaporate in quickly? So how have we seen them combat it? Continue to run your offense, but don't back off at all. Don't start looking at the clock. Don't start thinking about, hey, just take care of the football. Keep attacking. Usually the best are going to lead his guys up first and ten. And he's a perfect five for five here to begin the game. On second and twelve, Wilson. Position on it and throws it in. Touch. Lock it in. 71 yards. Stretch that lead out a bit further. A simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down. I just remember as a player, and I'd be in practice sessions, and I'd hear nine from the receivers. That meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. <laughs> that was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. And it is now 21 to nothing. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And they came in with a plan themselves. So I think now you try and mix things up a little bit. Get the ball in the hands of some other people, find some other playmakers, but always let the defense believe that he's still a threat. I was going to say, don't forget about it. No, don't take him totally out of the game. Pretty solid run here. They'll throw. Pressure comes. He's taking. Game goes on. I'm going to hit him with a screen soon. Another play here before the two minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. He'll look to throw. Open man right side is Ingram. And they're going to get him first half for football. We remind you that coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will be alongside. He'll have highlights. Half of action. And a nice job here to down this one right on the five-yard line. Well, something that's what they expect out of him. They want to see the ball thrown and thrown well. And he's able to do that and put it in the end zone. They'd love to see more of that before this game finishes. But right now, he's got his team in a good spot. A good spot. Maybe looking for touchdown pass number two here in this play. Now they have a chance to increase what they've done in the first half. needed there as they're all the way up near the four they work again from the 38 on second and 10 to throw again with it over the middle it's a big time play by the defense 
in need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. He finds his man, Baldwin. 100, the magic number for a really good game for a receiver. So he got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. Oh, closing in on a 200-yard first half through the air. It's first and 10. It is out to the right. He gets it to over 200 yards already in this first half. It's first and 10 to throw is Wilson. Steps away to his left. It's out. Fumble. And the Giants. And now look at him go. He's at the 50. 30. The 20. 10. And he will score. Touchdown. of the defense, though. They're not about to just fall on a fumble, are they? Scoop and score is their motto, and they just did it. They'll kick the point after. It's up, it's good, and that'll cut the off now as they'll get it again following that fumble return. This one filled it at the five. Then he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 20 here to begin their next drive. This You've got less than 30 seconds left here in the half. You're well on your own side of the field. What are we doing here, Coach Davis? Well, I'm trying something on first down. And something that's safe is something. Last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. Space to maneuver at the 40. On. It's right side, Dixon. Rip off the 49 now. They'll come up on first and 10. Wilson. And that is incomplete. as the second half is underway. Fielding about a yard deep. And all that work, but he stopped working other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? It's usually not by himself, is it? It usually opens it up for other people that have big games as well. A bit of an opening there on the first down run. It's a second and four from the 31. Being chased down left. It's here and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir. Able to turn that into a positive game. Looking left side of his got a man. That's Baldwin. And now 13 of 15 passing. That's good for 87%. It's first and 10. Now here's the pass on first down. It's not to win. Complete pass here now is second and 10. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. And 5 to 35 now as they come up on first and 10. On the run, it's Penny. And able to break one tackle, but think. And that's probably a good philosophy at this point. Going to make that defense stand up and stop him. From the 31. them there and it would have been the first sack of the game instead they were influenced to release and they did force the incomplete pass forced back to his left it's a short one here complete to the tight end 
It's a big shot, but be smart. I think they did exactly that on that play. They didn't get the first down, but they're taking care of the ball well. Yeah, and being rightly cautious with that lead here in the second half. Right up like a pro. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he's able to get it across. The Try to figure out what is working and call more of that. They'll try and get this run game going. This is Barkley. And this five goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Two. Two. Here we go on second and 12. Trying to get it to Beckham. And it's intercepted. Picked off at the 19. This D wanted to put it away before we even get to the fourth quarter, widening that mark. I think I'll get a chance to play before this one is over now with that type of a cushion. And the lead is now 24. Six, they'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This is fielded a couple of yards deep. They'll bring it back to just coming together as a group, going over adjustments, and then the head coach coming in and just screaming. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. That's complete left side to Shepard. And he's going to lose yardage here back to the 12. In the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. They'll drop the throw. Wide open receiver complete. They get a big amount back. 18 yards, but they'll still look at about their punter now. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. That'll be put in the books as a 53-yard mail like you put in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offense is called, four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down. At the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. Now the first play of the drive there is to four. They'll go again on second and ten. And he can't get away from the pressure there. Looking for something big following the sack. It's third and long here. And he can't quite pick it. No interception so far. That probably should have been their first. But at least it's been needed till here in the third. goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now from all the work he's getting. They'll start out on the ground and Saquon Barkley. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they had the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. They'll go to Barkley again. So that one will get him halfway to the first. Going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Turned down a nickel formation here defensively. They'll look to throw here. Catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to rule him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete. 
clean. Certainly one they'd like to have back as it breaks up fourth down. Sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit. Fun here if they're going to have any shot at this thing. So they'll go for it on fourth down. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. It's caught. Shepard. Talk about a big fourth down conversion for the score defensively. How do you let that happen? I think you start with the offense and you give them credit for going for it and having that type of, well, let's face it, audacity. But defensively, I think you're right on target, partner. The offense going to stay on the field as they'll go for two. Mike 35. Rivers free. But he will not make it into the end zone. Of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. And the Seahawks looks like they've recovered. They have. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they go. On first down, pro size. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. They'll try the right side here with Penny. And some room to work. They'll try and run down here with Pro Side. Offensive line creating some space, but how about the guy running behind his pads into the end zone? What does that mean when a guy says running behind his pad? It means that he's going to be a physical runner. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through. Setting out a kick this one away, and off it goes. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. Well, some might have returned. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And yeah, that'll be knocked in this game. And to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. Now he'll look to throw here on second and ten. To Shepard, complete over the middle. And from the 25, they work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Throwing the out route and complete. It's Shepard. Now, a perfect eight for eight to start the second half. Not bad. First and ten. They'll set up the throw. And he's going to go down. They sack him back at the 42. Again here, it's second and 15. Second and 15. size the slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness their speed and their route running savvy now back to throw gets it out to Saquon Barkley there's the 31 now on first and 10 looking to throw they'll set up the screen to Barkley Runs through the contact. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. First and 10 at the 18-yard line. The first.
first down carry for Barkley. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. It's football here as we welcome you back. They've got it first and goal as they look to punch in a late score. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. side kick when you don't get it the wrist comes here's precise and that play will go nowhere losing yardage back near mid this is precise on the carry and they will get this across midfield, but still, they were not at a premium. They were pretty easy to come by. <laughs> the one, wasn't it? Because both teams finding ways to click. And you know people who love this game. They also love baseball games that are 14 to 11 with three or four home runs mixed in. 